Good morning, King Springs Kindergartners. Um, we're back at Kate's Reed and Seed Garden. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but that's your new school right there being built. And I don't know if you can hear all the construction workers, but we get to listen to that every morning when we wake up um, and watch it from the Reed and Seed. It's really cool. So I'm here this morning because I'm going to be harvesting some food for dinner tonight, some salad and some radishes. And the morning is the best time to harvest these things. The plants have been really quiet overnight and they haven't been in the sun and they've had a lot of time for their sugars to just relax in their leaves and make them super yummy and delicious. So usually every morning I come out and I grab some stuff that we're gonna eat for dinner. Um, you don't always wanna go out and get things in the heat of the afternoon. So here we are, uh, pardon my morning hair, get ready to see some fun things that we're going to throw into my little basket right here. these will make a great snack for breakfast. I'll, they probably won't even make it out of the garden. I wanted to show you guys something else that's really cool. These down here are sugar and snap peas. And they're really small. They only grow about three feet high. And they stand straight up. They don't need any support. In fact, they use these little tiny tendrils right here that they grow to hang on to each other and sometimes pine straw. Um, they use that to hang on to each other so they can grow nice and tall and form these beautiful pea pods. Now this one here is a sugar magnolia snap pea. It grows the most beautiful purple flowers and I'm so excited to show you this, but I just spotted the first pea growing on the sugar magnolia. It's green now, but the purple flowers mean that the actual pea pod itself it's going to be purple just like its flower one day. Okay, now we're over at my garlic and my lettuce bed. And we're going to get a little bit of lettuce because I'm trying to make room for some of the cabbages that are growing around the lettuce. All right, here I've got some purple cabbage growing. It doesn't quite look like cabbage yet, but it will soon. And as you can see, I have some other cabbages growing, but they're not nearly as big as this one. So I'm gonna cut some of this lettuce around the cabbages for our salad tonight to go with our kale. And I've already been cutting some, you can see. That's a newly cut one, but it grows right back after you cut it. So you can just keep coming back for more and more. If I don't pull these out of the ground right here, they're just gonna grow back and have more beautiful lettuce just like this. All right, so I'm over here where we actually have a fig tree and um, some kale growing. I'm actually trying to grow this fig tree to get a little bit bigger so that it can shade my greens during the summertime. Right now, all of these are old greens like arugula and spinach from the winter time and they're bolting shooting up to the sky because they can feel all this new heat and they're going to flower and this is how all of these plants spread their seeds 
You can even save some of the seeds to use in the future. These are mustard greens. Aren't they beautiful? Right here I have some dinosaur kale and some red Russian kale and they're all going to flower. And you can even eat these flowers on your salad. And I might pick some of these this morning. All right, I got my kale and I tucked that away to have a salad for later on tonight. But I wanted to show you guys something that's really important. Gardening does not have to be crazy expensive or hard to do. You can use just about anything to plant something inside of something. We found this old kayak in our neighbor's yard and asked him if we could have it. And then we cut holes in it and we planted stuff in it and we grew things in it all winter long. You can literally plant a plant anywhere as long as you take good care of it. All right, everybody, here's our harvest today. There's our kale and our kale flowers and our French breakfast radishes. That's honestly the most French breakfast radishes I've ever harvested. It's amazing. Some of our snap peas and then some of this delicious butter crunch and Jericho lettuce that we cut out of the lettuce and cabbage beds. Isn't that beautiful? All right, you guys, I hope you had a great time coming into my garden with me and the boys. Um, I still have a lot of little baby peppers to plant and we'll be planting cucumbers and squash and okra in the next couple of weeks when it gets to be a little bit warmer. If you guys ever have any questions about planting things, ask Mrs. Miller for my email or my contact information. I'm super happy to help. I also give away a lot of plants if you guys are starting a garden. Um, let me know and Ford and I will set some out on our front porch for you. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I can't wait to see all your smiling faces soon. Bye!